Hi there, Jamie Keat here tonight at Teachers Tech. Hope everyone's having a fantastic night tonight. Uh, tonight I'm excited to bring you the new Google Sites. I've gotten early access to this and I've been playing around with it. Uh, I can't believe what a change it is compared to the old Google Sites and I think you're going to be able to make easily some great looking websites. So let's get started with a walkthrough on the new Google Sites. <laughs> So to access the new Google Sites, I'm already logged in. I'm in my Google Drive right now, and I'm just going to go over and hit New over here. I'm just going to scroll down to More, and you get Google Sites right here. You can see how the icon's a little bit different than it used to be. So I'm just going to click on the new Google Sites there and open this up. And remember, you probably, unless uh, you have early access, you won't have it yet, but it's going to be coming here. Uh, so you can see right away it opens it to your front page what you're going to be working on. You get this nice header here uh, you, where you can name your site up here. Uh, and I'm just going to name it real quickly. So I can name it up here or I can name it up here too. So I'm just going to call this, let's call this um, example, I'll just call this test site here, test site. And uh, so you can see it gets put there. Or I could have typed it in here and it would have showed up there too. So I just want to talk about this icon in the left hand corner. When I click on this now, it brings me to where the Google Sites are stored here. So you can see here is uh, the one I just created here. If I click the vertical dots, three little dots, you can see I can rename it here, remove it, or open it in a new tab here. If I wanted to create a new site from here, I can just simply by clicking the create new site and it would be at the same thing what I just showed you here. At the bottom left hand corner you see the classic site so if I wanted to switch back and work in the classic sites I have that option here too. Uh, it's hard to even compare the two between the classic sites and this new Google Sites because it is just not the same in any way um, on it. So I'm just going to just open this by tapping on this and get back into it and kind of do the walkthrough here for you. Uh, so first of all let's just name this uh, this. So quickly I'm just going to type uh, type in here and I'll just call this the new Google Sites here. Uh, and you can see right away, I could go to the title, I can change things quickly uh, here uh, by changing the heading, uh, just by clicking on the, you know, if I wanted it uh, real quickly changing, I'm just going to go back to my title. I can also drag this if I wanted to uh, make sure that if I wanted to stretch out on this. So you have some options that very easily, if you're used to the old way, uh, this way is so much easier uh, to get your header looking nice right away too. Um, I like it how you can add the link um, on this. So I can insert my link uh, right in here too. So it becomes an active link to a different website too. So very quickly to change that. Now let's talk about the background for the image here. So I can change my image here. I'm just going to click on my image here and uh, you can see right away uh, it opens up to a gallery with lots of nice uh, photos here. Let's, um, I'm just going to pick this one here. And uh, you have different options too. You can do your typical upload uh, from your computer. You can do it by URL. You can search in here your albums and Google Drive. Uh, so, but I'm just going to, for this purpose, is, for this purpose, I'm just going to pick uh, these ones because they're very nice images to use. So I'm just going to hit select, and you can see how it's added in very quickly. Uh, what you just noticed down here, when it says I'll click on it, it says remove readability adjustment. So it changed the background color so it could be read uh, more easily. So if I uh, change this here, and I like this option here, you can see um, how maybe it's not as easy to read, but if I turn it back on, uh, that font should stand out. It just uh, knows how to adapt it a little bit better, changing the uh, background, the header, uh, to a different shade to make the font stand out a little bit so better. So I really like that option there. Uh, so let's add some content to our new, uh, to our front page here. And it's very, very easy to do. A couple different ways to do this here. You can see um, uh, up in the right hand corner here, I have my text box, my images, or my embed, my URL, or I have my upload here. So if I wanted to click my um, text box here, I'll just say, I'll just type hello, and I can type very quickly into this. I like how now you can add, uh, you can change the background colors very easily here. So if I I just click or just hover over this here you notice I have a couple options on the left hand side I could delete this section so every time I add a text box or image um, it's I can create another section that just goes vertically down on this so but I can also change the background very quickly so I'm going to click on this you can see that it's under regular right now I have the emphasis here where it changes uh, to the gray I can change the color and I have my images too so um, if I wanted to um, have a color in the background let's I'm gonna pick this one and I'll hit select 
and you can see uh, it's a nice way to kind of break up from your header uh, to the underneath uh, even if I didn't put any text and I could just leave it if I just wanted it uh, uh, there it's a nice way just to add that little bit of extra color and you can do this all the way down at different parts where you, you could put images in this and I'll show you in a second so when you work with this new Google Sites the thing is to be picturing um, I'd almost draw it out on paper first and then it's about your images you put into this and your layout because I'll show you how easy it is to add text and boxes and it's just pretty much what you want to imagine what you want to put into how you want to drag it around so uh, here I'm just gonna hit the delete here to show you how easy it is to delete it and it's gone like that so the other way I can do all these things here I can also just double click on 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 the page right here so if I double click here uh, you can see those options come up here too where I can upload the image I can uh, put a URL in here so let's um, let's if I just click on a URL here so if I was uh, what am I looking for let's say if I was looking for something on CNN and then you can see it, it picks up the uh, breaking latest news and everything so I can add that in and uh, it goes through and I have a few different options what it you know what I want it to show too so I could show the title you can see as I turn it off in the background it goes away or show the description and turn it off and uh, I can hit done here uh, so uh, if you want to see kind of what you're working on how things are looking um, on a browser or if, uh, to test it out just go up top here you can see here's the preview button here so if I hit preview here uh, what I get is how it would look on here and you can also this is an option I really like here uh, you can see it on the different devices here so I'm on my desktop one here uh, you can see I can go to uh, how it looks on a tablet or how it looks on a mobile device I really like how easily it adapts uh, to this now uh, this is uh, this will be great because so much more is going to become more mobile more mobile mobile sorry uh, so I'm just going to hit back here uh, again if you want to delete anything you can click on it and hit delete so just again it's that double click you can add um, let's say I'm just going to add a couple a couple ones to show you here as I add and I'm just going to change the color I'll just change the color here you can see as I add, I can add more and more in here too. So if I add uh, a text box, I'll just say, hello, uh, Google. I'll just say, hello, Google here. And what I can do here is uh, quickly, if I want to kind of resize this, and you see, as I'm resizing things, I really like those uh, grid lines in the back, uh, the measurements of the page, so you can get an idea um, to how to kind of divide up your page uh, equally across here too. So you can see how easy it is to drag things around, and I really like this. This is just going to make it so easy to create websites, and it's going to be, I think it's going to be about your imagination of how you, uh, want to you know how you want to create it so if I wanted this over here and then I want to put a you know double click in here again and I want to put a, an image in so if I click image now if I go let's search uh, by URL actually I'll just go search here and I'll say well I want to fish for some reason don't know why I was thinking that but um, let's say I put this fish right here and while I have the the image in there and I can quickly just grab it I want to put it on that side and I love how easy you can size this too so you notice I have the options of the of the crop or the uncrop uh, and I have the insert link and the delete and I have the options of the replace the image and the alt text on this but if I grab this I love how easy it is just to resize uh, you can see how it can crop uh, in here to get exactly what I need out of that photo so I just I just think that's great and again how easy is that to uh, drag that uh, to drag that around on it so uh, you can quickly uh, set up an idea if you have your idea of the images that you want to create or maybe you found a website that you like and you, you're trying to create uh, kind of the similar design in this it's so easy to do that uh, again if you look down on the right hand side here I can insert things right from my Google Drive right in here I like how I could put a folder on so if you're using it as a teacher page or anything uh, if there's a certain folder you want to give access to you know if you've shared that folder and you want to put it right on your drive and I'll just grab a folder here kind of randomly here I'll just grab um, I'll just grab this teacher's tech one here and I'm going to insert it and you can see it, it puts the files right in here so if I go back and uh, and preview it you can see uh, well, let me go back to my desktop version here as I go down and you can see how um, the files are right there so I think that's pretty slick uh, to do that on uh, to how easy it is to do that so again video always important on a, on a web uh, website if you if it uh, 
you know, and this works just so easily too. So if let's say if I, maybe I'll find one of my videos here, teachers tech here, and let's scroll down. Is there one? Oh, okay, sway, sure, pretty sure I made that one. All right, select and the video's in. And again, I can just drag it so quickly um, and size it to um, how I want, uh, you know, just like the images. So I just think that, again, such a great way. Uh, maybe I want to change the color in the uh, background or put an image and it's done like that. So again, I know I'm not doing a, a very nice website here, but I'm just trying to show you kind of just how easy things work in here. Uh, if you want to put a uh, Google uh, Google Forms in here, you can quickly add a Google Forms. It's just a test one I had and you have your Google Forms in here. If I preview it again here, uh, you can see if I scroll down, I can actually, when I click this button, this will open it up in the full Google form, opens in a new window and goes over here too. So if you're using Google forms, great way to insert it in here too. So I'm just going to hit back again. Uh, you notice if, if you want to share this with other uh, editors, just click on the share button here, just like Google stuff, just add the names here and you can invite them, can edit. But there's this little check down here, you notice where it says prevent editors from changing access and adding uh, new people. So you can click that for the done uh, there, but I'm not gonna add anybody uh, for this right now. So you have a page, you've put in content, uh, you can put your URLs, embed your URLs, put things from your um, Google, uh, Google Drive or your other apps in there. Let's insert some new pages and this is incredibly easy to do. So if I go up to the pages here, I'm just gonna go to pages here and then you can see I only have the one page right here. All I need to do to create the new page is hit page and I'm just going to call this I'll call this uh, page one and I'm going to create a couple pages here so I hit done and I'm going to create another one page two and I'm just going to create one more for my examples here page three all right page three what I like about you can see how it goes across the top here here I got my home page one page two page three I wish I could play around uh, with uh, with it but you can see over here on the side I can do my different navigation here so I have top navigation here or I could do uh, the side navigation over here so I think that's a nice little option to have uh, with your menus and everything like that so uh, it looks pretty uh, again pretty neat and pretty modern when you do this and that's one thing I find with how things are working uh, with this it it looks pretty modern and it looks uh, just as good as many other sites if you have that right image in your mind of how you want to create it here. So I'll just go back um, to the top navigation here and uh, well, again what I really like about this here is I can drag these around and it's just going to change how they're nestle, uh, uh, nestled in and underneath. So for instance if I want page two under page one just drag it up like that. I could put page three in there. You notice how they're disappearing. I'll show you how it looks in the other view here. Side navigation open it up and you can see how it's nestled uh, in there too. I'm just gonna go back, it's easier to show in the top navigation here. Uh, but again, so easy to change. And the other thing I like, at, if you want a certain one different as a different home page here, so if I want page one as the home page, just click over here and you can see, um, I can set it as the home page and then it jumps over here and that's gonna be the page that it goes on to. So this stuff, uh, again, it's so intuitive, just drag things around, change your menu uh, really quickly by um, adding it over here. I'm just gonna go um, over to uh, themes here you can see there's three different themes here to click on. Um, just click on a few different ones. I'm just going to go back to this one so you can see what the font looks like a little bit better. Uh, so I can click on the different ones. You can see how it changes. I have a few different options how I want to change it to. You can see I can pick the color down here or the font style here. You have uh, three different choices. I almost like how it, it is so simple. They don't load it up yet with, uh, they'll probably add more, but I like how quickly you can just change things and the fonts they have selected. Again, look, I, I find look very, very professional here too. But you can change, as you can see, these themes are very easy to change here. Uh, so I'm just gonna talk about here for the help menu here. Uh, so you can, uh, in my case, I can send the feedback here. I can take the tour, but the help menu here, um, when I look at the new, when the new Google sites, it's, it, I find it interesting because I've made videos on the other ones and there's so much here in the old ones that you go through. Uh, but if I look at the new ones here, you can just see how, how 
how how easy it is to find information and again it goes to the fact of how intuitive this is because there isn't really a lot of information to tell you because it's just easy to see um, uh, what's there so I'm just going to close out of the help menu but if you are looking for something uh, just take a look at that uh, again at the end you can publish it uh, I'm just going to hit publish you just give it a title um, I'll just call this test I'll just call it test uh, oh, it's already taken. I'll just call it tester for some reason. Okay, so I'm going to hit publish now and I'll get this little mess message down at the bottom here. And it's just going to say that it, the site has been published successfully and I can view it. And it's just going to um, open up um, to see what it would look like here. You can see how I have a diff my different pages set uh, right now for my home page. This is the one that I started with here. I have the video. My, I know the, the colors and fonts aren't very good for this example, but I was kind of just randomly uh, picking things too. Uh, I can go back to edit um, are on this one here too. So this has been a kind of a little walkthrough um, of Google of the new Google Sites, and it's almost like I think I've almost covered everything in here. But I think it's going to be more about how you choose to design your image, you know, your images that you select, because it's going to be very easy to put your text, your images in this. So have a good plan, draw something out at first, and then just start creating with this. I think you're really going to like this. So I really enjoyed bringing this to you this week. And remember, I do these weekly tech tips. If you think this could help other people fill out, please share this uh, or give it a thumbs up here. And remember, uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. I do weekly tech tips. Thank you very much. for uh, Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.